video, we're going to be discussing how to use your computer keyboard as a MIDI controller. All right, real quick tip. But if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button below. And if you enjoy what you're watching, please don't forget to like so we can get this video to a thousand likes, guys. And if you have any suggestions, please, for anything in the future, drop them in the comment box below and I'll get to them. And if you check out our website, dailyheatcheck.com, you'll find exclusive downloads and templates for your favorite programs like Logic Pro and Ableton. And like us on Facebook. I have all the links in the description. Let's check this out. All right, guys. So a while back, I got a message from one of my subscribers asking me how to use your computer keyboard as a MIDI controller. So let's get to it. You go to Window in Logic Pro X. You scroll all the way down to Show Musical Typing. Quick heads up. This only works if the keyboard is shown on screen. So in the event that the keyboard is not here, when you start pressing keys, as you see, those keys start doing things. They're natural shortcut functions. So always make sure you have that keyboard open and available if you're trying to play or create. But once it's open, I'm now playing the electric piano. And this is a very intuitive keyboard because if you look, you can go up and down octaves with Z and X. Ooh, I press record by accident, but you could go up and down with Z and X. So that's pretty cool. Then you have sustain. So in the event you want to. And you even have pitch bend. So, you know, you could go in and do a lot more. And if you wanted to just switch it to like a traditional keyboard, you could do so. Like whatever your heart desires. All right, so this is just a quick tip video. So drop a question below in the comments if you have any ideas for me to do for another video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like the video. Until next time, guys, take care.